Hi everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at in the world, please let us all know below, whatever time zone you're in. If you are new to my channel, this is a wealth building channel, so we will have investment videos, and that is one of these. So we're talking about different ideas on diversifying your portfolio. That has been the um, talk for the last two or three months on this channel we do one of these a week not every single day because I don't want to lose you um, this is only a small part of becoming wealthy so learning how to invest especially in, in, with a crazy economy right now is to get educated you don't necessarily have to do it today but you want to stay educated knowing where to invest how to invest where um, the risks are and what to invest in so I'm going to give you some ideas, and it's not from me. It's going to come from the experts. I'm just the messenger. So don't come after me. I'm just in a, a messenger relaying stuff from the experts. Anyway, I'm going off the screen right now. I suggest you get your notepad out. For most of my videos, you need a notepad because I give you information to check out and research on your own. If you're driving, please don't take out your notepad. Just go back and rewatch it again. Okay, so we're going to talk about closed end funds today. Now, on my past videos, we have talked about short term accounts. We talked about the risk. We talked about how to invest, why we have them, short term accounts, 2% municipal bonds, investment grade bonds. Real estate investment trusts, high yield bonds, dividend stocks, midstream energy infrastructure was the last video. All right, and then today, which I don't have a little um, title for, we're going to talk about closed end funds. So I'll just go and leave this on the screen um, for now while I talk. So be sure and listen closely because I don't have it up on my screen right now. So closed end funds raise money through initial public offering and then they invest the funds in stocks and bonds, MLPs and other financial assets. The funds share their prices fluctuate according to the investor demand and they can trade at a discount or premium to the per share value of the underlying assets or net asset value. And all that is a mouthful. So basically closed end funds, particularly fixed income ones, dominate the asset class and perform poorly in the first quarter. And this is filmed in June of 2022. So the first quarter is January through March. So it's not too far off from the first quarter. I uh, just want to tell you where I'm getting some of my information from. So you know I'm not making this stuff up off the top of my head. It is from Fun Companies, FTSC, Russell, Morningstar, F MSCI, S&P, Dow Income. We are getting it, some of it from Bloomberg, National Bureau of Economic Research, Wells Fargo Investment Institute, some from Money Magazine, and Kiplinger's. So to say all that, we're going to go back here again and look at some of these. So the first quarter interest rate shot up and therefore lies an opportunity for funds that were traded at premiums to NAV, which um, just six months ago are now offering substantial discounts because closed-end funds look more interesting now than any other time since the summer of 2020 when we were at the height of the COVID. Nobody was hardly working. Everybody was staying home. We were getting free money from the government in the United States anyway. I don't know about other countries. But um, the space offered more risk asset was an attractive discount. Now the risk of closed-end funds is most closed-end funds use borrowed money or leverage to buy portfolio assets. And the leverage is a double-edged sword augmenting price returns in a market, but magnifying the decline of a fund's NAV relative 
to the overall market in hard times. So the decline of a fund's NAV relative to the overall market in hard times, in addition, as interest rates arise, which is happening right now, the cost of borrowing will increase for funds. So I don't know if it's a good idea right now or not, but we're just passing this information on to you. Okay, so some of the uh, how to invest in, and what to invest in here is municipal bond funds employing leverage, which boosts the tax-free income, are one of the most popular choices in the closed fund closed end fund universe. So the chief of investment officer of the closed end fund advisors recommends pioneer municipal high income opportunities. It's called MIO. If you're interested, it's only $14, 5.1% yield. It trades at a 10% discount to NAV and has a 32% leverage ratio, um, which means borrowed money as a percentage of assets. And, and, and it's about average. So John Cole Scott likes Pioneer's concentrated activity managed portfolio, which counts three state tobacco settlement bonds among its top holdings. For more diversification and a bit more yield, you might want to consider mainstay MACKAY, M A C K A Y, defined term municipal opportunities. It's MMD if you're looking it up. It's $18 with 5.6% yield. It sells at a 4% discount with a 36% leverage. So for a higher yield in the taxable bond space, he likes Western Asset Diversified Income, which is WDI, $16, 8.7% yield. It trades at 12% discount, deploys relatively modest 26% leverage. So socially minded investors can consider the BlackRock ESG Capital Allocation Trust, ECAT, e $16, 7.5% yield, and it's managed by some of BlackRock's top managers. The fund, which employs no leverage and trades at a 17% discount to NAV, invests in both equity and debt securities. Scott is also keen on ECOFIN, E-C-O-F-I-N, Sustainable and Social Impact Term, T-E-A-F, $15, 7.1% yield. It also invests in both publicly traded and private assets around the world. It trades at 14% discount and uses a 9% leverage. So if you're interested in those kind of things, I gave you some information on them. And um, the main thing is that you diversify in any of these because over the last month we have talked about a whole bunch of different ways that you could diversify your portfolio in this kind of crazy economy. You don't need everything all in one account. You don't need to have everything in stocks. You don't need to have everything in your IRA. So I'm giving you some diversifying portfolio choices. So the best thing to do is get educated and then get yourself a professional that may help you if you need to. If you can't do it yourself, you get a professional, you hire a professional, financial planner, investment, investment person that is professional in investing. They might even have some kind of certification. So that's what you want to do. Not somebody who's trying to get rich off of you, but somebody that's going to help you get educated is the best way to go about doing that. If they try to force you into buying things so they can get a commission, they're not the type of person that you want to work with. You want to make sure that you're well-educated, they give you some ideas, and then you can make the choice for yourself. Anyway, I hope to see you all back on the next video. Thanks again for watching.